So let's go around Disney Springs and find all the gifts. While we're sitting here, I wanted to go through this booklet because I like to pre-read <laughs> um, what I'm supposed to do and where I'm supposed to go. So on the left, right when you open it, you can see Stitch's gift list for his Ohana. And it has a lot of the characters' names from the Lilo and Stitch franchise. And then on the right side, you'll see that there's a little poem that essentially just tells you you have to go find Stitch in the shops at Disney Springs. It tells you the dates that this is running through, which is November 8th through January 6th. And it also gives you the redemption location. So once you're done with the scavenger hunt, you can go to any of these shops and get your prize. And then as you continue, the next page you'll see is the gift locator map. So every one of these locations identified on the map is where you will find Stitch and one of, I guess, the gifts that he's getting for his Ohana. Then it starts into the location. So every location has a page dedicated to it with a clue and where you will put the redeeming sticker. What's also interesting is some of them have a coupon. So for example, Rainforest Cafe has a 15% off. The non-sale items in the retail village, if you present this booklet. But location number two doesn't have that. Um, so just doing a quick flip through. Location three, which is Wolfgang, you can get 20%. Location 4 does not have a coupon. Location 5 does not have a coupon. Here are the gift stickers. That's what you'll place on the page that you find it at. Location 6 has 15% off basin. Location 7 does not have a coupon. Location 8, um, Uniqlo does not have a coupon either. Location 7, or excuse me, 9 and 10. Um, 10 is MAC and you can get 10% off. 11 is Sperry and you can get 20% off. And that's it. So super cute. I don't rem think that they've done the coupons before. I'll actually link, I did this last year and I'll link that down below. So. If you guys are curious to see what that looked like, you can kind of compare. But from my memory, I don't think that they included coupons. So that's very unique um, and really nice. And this is a fun, free thing to do here at Springs. So I think it's fun. Stitch is dashing, but not through snow. He wants to see where the lava flows. And inside the Rainforest Cafe gift shop, here at the top of this display, you can see Stitch with what looks like a water tower. Very cool. He's on the trail for Mickey's tree to fill his house with Christmas glee. And here on Mickey's tree, you do see Stitch wearing a Mickey hat. So cute. in luck he found a place by the name of Puck and here at the beverage station in Wolfgang Pucks there is Stitch in a frying pan that's the one that Abel guessed he thinks he can guess all of them based off of the name of the place that they're at so we'll see if he gets all of them right Jolly games, gifts, and more. Stitch has fun in this toy store. The very back of Once Upon a Toy, way up there. Way at the top, you can see Stitch. And he has Dumbo resting on his head. So sweet. Man, it, I can't believe how much toy has changed since I've worked here. It used to be three, no, one, two, three, four rooms, and now it's one. Just to see it walled off like this is crazy. Stitches bouncing from stall to stall, finding decor to deck his halls. And right in front of Cherry Tree Lane, on the banister, you will find a stitch with a springs bottle sitting on his head. Can you take a minute though and look at these beautiful wreaths? Okay, back to Stitch. <laughs> You'll find Stitch here having a scrub. Everything inside is great for the tub. And then at the top of the rinse sink, way tucked in the corner, is Stitch with a rubber ducky. I love the newly opened basin. 
is beautiful, but I especially love this bubble chandelier. If I could get that above my tub, that would be fantastic. choose a patisserie treat. And here at the coffee bar, way up at the top, that's the theme I'm noticing is that these guys are really high up, is stitch on top of a paintbrush like a surfboard. to get. I think they have a snowman and look the holiday Mickey. It's not for sale in case anyone was curious. <laughs> yeah, the little cake and then there's the little Santa macaroon. Oh my gosh, I love it. That's so cute. We're thinking this is a slushy. Not too sure, we're gonna ask. But what I came in for was the macaroons. Look at them! But they also have any of this business. If this the is holiday. What she was making, yes. Coins. The Those are the Avant -garde Avant -garde chocolate, chocolate mousse. $8. But if you're not wanting anything holiday related, you can get any of the rest of these. But of course, I like to be festive, so. I'm gonna get one of those. So the board that she's working on must be cold. Cold enough to freeze the chocolate so it can hold its shape. They almost look like little donuts. breakdown it's not actually focusing of uh, the Mickey Mouse white chocolate mousse cake they have but that is not what she's making yeah look it must be cold she's wiping it down oh she's gonna do it again that must be her arm workout for the day you get tired doing that after a while and then she just cuts it off and then she's got herself a little chocolate rope that is so cool I love that honey I want one of those she's quick we asked the cast member and she informed us that it's actually a smoothie not a wine slushie um, and she's wrapping up my macaroons now. But I wanted to show you guys the petite cakes. So they have this winter wonderland petite. Amy, can you get us some It's not focusing. Oh, there we go. So you guys can see what's in it. And then this one is the holiday wreath petite. Thank you. And then the petite amaret. And then I'm gonna go above the glass so you guys can see a little better. Hopefully. I know the lights are a little tough to see. Checking out at the register, they have one left of these little Donald's ear hat. I think this is supposed to be an ornament, like Grand Floridian has. Yeah, so I think you can hang this on your tree or eat it. But then they also have a pretty large selection of Twining's tea. Oh, perfect. 
and they do have guys the holiday gift hunt scavenger hunt booklet right here on the register so <gasps> yummy I'm gonna go grab us the table okay, okay. all right Christmas diet what? Diabetic diet. Woo. Oh my god, these just look so good. Abel got the Sunday coffee cake. Yeah. I think is what it's called. Wanna try it, honey? And then mom got the chocolate mousse that the Ooh, woman was making. Oh, I should have left it there. The filling. Oh, it kind of came down. Put it on here. Oh. Nice. Is it very coffee heavy? A strong coffee taste? No. Not a strong coffee taste, which is good. It's delicious. What do you think of the chocolate one, mama? It is delicious. It's almost like a bitter chocolate. And it's chocolate mousse, and then there's maybe a little cake filling there on the bottom. Oh, yeah. It is so, so good. Here, I'm gonna give you this bite. Okay. There. Look. She took a bite. Mm. It's really good. It's, it's rich. really moist. Yeah. I know everybody loves that word. <laughs> but $8, that was definitely worth it. Yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, that's really nice. I'm gonna try Abel's now. I think I'm actually gonna take these home and save them um, for the work week. But I got pictures with them, so that's the most important part, right? The, um, what is that? Caramel? Mm -hmm. Something. When he dug into it, it started to kind of come down the bottom. So we put it back in the lid for it. Like, yeah. Um, it tastes like coffee. But it not actually, like... It actually tastes like tiramisu to me, and I love tiramisu, which is funny because I don't like coffee. So I, I like this. If you are not a big coffee person, I would still try it because it's a very light taste. Like I said, much like tiramisu, where it almost tastes like it's been coffee soaked rather than you're eating a spoonful of coffee. If that makes sense. What about that chocolate mousse, though? Mm. Yeah, this one is so rich. It's so rich. Two of us have already eaten that, and like I'm We're like, woo! <laughs> it's chocolatey. Mm, that's good. The chocolate rope is so pretty, though. It is. And this little chocolate Mickey is really pretty. A little chocolate coin. A little uh, leaflet or something. It's like a chocolate swirl they made. Mm -hmm. uh, yummy, yummy. We're in Uniqlo looking for the stitch in here, but I wanted to show you guys that they have Christmas pajamas. I cannot even. Look, they have this one that it has um, Minnie Mouse, and then these plaid pants that match, and then the Mickey Mouse one, you guys can see here, it's the Mickey, and then there's just black fleece pants that go with it. They also have Jack Skellington with the same plaid fleece pants. Oh, precious. And this has 30 bucks for pajamas. I don't think that that's bad. They also have men's, which are precious as well. I really like the burgundy and gray stripe and the navy and white stripe, and they just come with solid navy, solid gray bottoms, and then that one's just a solid navy set all the way around. But I'm just blown away by those. Those are so cute. Made my way upstairs, still trying to find the stitch. I wanted to show you guys, they also have fleece blankets. So it is actually this whole Disney holiday fleece collection. The blankets are $29.90 as well, same as the pajama sets. And they do have matching room shoes or slippers that are $14.90. But I am not finding the stitch. But I would still come into Uniqlo because these fleece pajamas are adorable. And seeing them displayed on the mannequins and that chandelier. But I, just don't, I can't find the stitch. I keep looking. 
stitches on a Mary Quest for festive clothes to look his best. Y'all, he is right here. The minute you get up the escalator, he's in this huge window display because for everything else that we've done so far, he's been high up in the ceiling. I didn't look down, so I walked past him like three times, but he's right here, right when you get off the escalator. Stitch needs ganache, you'll find it right here. Your next stop in is the place with the real chocolatiers. Right up there, way up top, is Stitch with a, I guess an empty jar. Kind of random, you think it'd be with like a chocolate bar or something. Stitch wants to find a lipstick in red while visions of sugar plums dance in his head. Super loud in here and there's lots of ladies getting makeovers. But way up there, you can see Stitch with a red lipstick. He looks mischievous in that pose. Nautical style and boat, boat shoes too. Stitch needs gifts for his crew. It's a tongue twister for me apparently. And then way up there, right here by the registers, is Stitch with his little boat. This one is relatively easy compared to the Uniqlo one. Stitch has boarded his alien sleigh to shop at a galaxy far, far away. And then way up here by the flags, we've got Stitch with his little rocket. Cute! the prizes. Look at the cute little mints. Those are super fun. Just made sure my booklet had all the stickers in it. Yep. And I got a pin. Here you go. Cool. Thanks. You're welcome. Have a great day. Stitch's scavenger hunt for this year, but we also got to take a look at some things at Uniqlo. We looked around a little bit at the tree trail, things like that. It's just so fun here at Disney Springs at this time of year, but it is packed. I was really hoping the time after Thanksgiving and right before Christmas would be a slower season, but now until then, I think it's going to be pretty crazy. So just be prepared for that when you come. But I hope you guys enjoyed anyway, and if you're looking for free stuff to do, that is definitely one I would recommend. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already and I'll talk to you later. Bye!